Hey, this is Kevin with All Star Medical, and today uh, we want to go over do I qualify for a mobility scooter or a power wheelchair? Um, you'll see in our showroom here in Hermitage that we have about over 20 different models of mobility scooters and power wheelchairs, and we get a lot of questions on can I qualify it through my insurance and you know, what is actually the difference between a power wheelchair and a scooter? A lot of people don't realize that. They call them gen with generic names, whether it's a, a rascal, a hover around, uh, you know, something of that nature, and they call everything a scooter. But there are actual differences. Um, so one of the ones I'll show you right here, this is a, a, a mobility scooter here made by uh, Pride Mobility. This is a scooter. And the way to tell the difference between a scooter and a power wheelchair is your scooters have a handlebar and a tiller. So you're going to drive with it in the front, okay? So that's kind of how a mobility scooter works. Where on a power wheelchair, I'll show you right here, power wheelchair has a joystick. That's the best way to understand how these work. Power wheelchair has a joystick, a mobility scooter has handlebars. Um, when it comes to insurance guidelines, they call this a power wheelchair or power mobility device they call a mobility scooter a power operated vehicle. Um, if you've seen any of the videos that I've done recently, I did one on hospital beds the other day and I had a local coverage and determination uh, that comes from Medicare guidelines and it actually showed um, for the hospital beds what the qualifications were. It was one page. Uh, power wheelchair uh, is actually 20 pages long. I only have five, I wasn't gonna print out <laughs> all 20. But just to give you an idea how tough it is, there's a really a lot of data and a lot of information that you have to get over to uh, the insurance in order to qualify for this. It is not as simple as my doctor wrote me an order. I really try to stress that just because your doctor wrote you an order, that's a starting point. Um, I kind of highlighted a couple things here that I wanted to, to go over. And um, some of the big things that really stu stood out to me, uh, everybody wants it. Uh, for outdoor use. Well, I want to go to the grocery store, go to the mall, or you know, I'm going to a festival, and, and that's what I really need it for. I don't need it with any home. So on this local coverage and determination, I actually highlighted a couple things, and one of them was if any power operated vehicle or PWC, which is power wheelchair, is only use out is only for use outside the home, it will be denied as non-covered. So when I tell people this. Sometimes they're like, well, my doctor said I could have it. It doesn't matter. If you only want it for outside the home, you have to qualify for it inside the home. And if you use it outside the home, that's fine, but you have to qualify for it inside the home. In order to qualify, the guidelines are pretty strict. You basically have to have a written order, a seven element order, and a lot of other documentation showing that why you can't use a cane to get inside your, in around your home, okay? So if you can't use a cane, they'll go, okay, a cane can't be used for upper body weakness or balance or whatever it may be. Then they're gonna wanna know why can't a walker be used? Same thing, you have to document why a walker can't be used within the home to get around and do your daily activities, which are basically get to the bathroom, get to the bedroom, and get to the kitchen. And those are little things that have to factor in. So if you qualify that way, the next step is, why does a manual wheelchair not work? So you have to justify why a manual wheelchair can't be used within the home and do what you need. So you can see as I'm going along, you've got a big criteria of, of, of information that you have to give. That's why typically it's about a, you know, close to 60 to 90 day process for insurance to even cover one because the suppliers that do that have to go through a big process. We are strictly a retail company. We don't file any insurance with a prescription we can help you save tax, but we don't file any insurance. This is strictly cash sales. Um, when you come into a store like this, basically you'll see that uh, for insurance purposes, there's like one model only of each style. They're not gonna give you different options, uh, different you know features and stuff. They pay for the most base model, where if you want something a little bit different, you can get that here with us. Um, but I just wanna, make sure people understand that and give them a resource to look into it. Because if you want to go through insurance, by all means, we recommend if you can get qualified for it to do that. But we're here to help you understand the process and do what we need to do. 
So what we've done here is we've kind of broken down a couple of chairs to show you some of the features and benefits. Um, for example, this is the power chair that I was sitting in earlier. This is it broken down. A lot of your manufacturers have actually went through and they have got these items non-covered and they're for retail only. Like you couldn't actually build this item through your insurance. It's not a covered item. So as you can see, it's very portable. You can take it with you anywhere you want to go. But these are some factors, you know, that you need to understand, hey, this might actually work out for me. I don't have to get a vehicle lift. I can put this in the trunk of a car, back seat, uh, and do some things like that. On the mobility scooters here, just to give you a quick reference, they do the same thing. Most of them do, I should say. Not every power wheelchair, every scooter is going to break down like this. But on this one, break it down, take it up, fold the tiller down, and go back up. So now you've broke down into about four pieces. The basket comes off as well, but again, they become portable. Some of your larger mobility scooters like this, they do not break down. They're also not going to be, you know, we get people that love the items like this that are real big. They think they're so cool, but these aren't qualified for inside the home. So even if you did qualify, you're not going to get something like this because it can't be used within the home. You also have to justify the item you're getting can be used inside the home, which that makes it difficult for any type of scooter because turning radius. And I'll show you that. Um, turning radius, there's a big difference between power wheelchairs and, mo and mobility scooters. On uh, power wheelchairs, you'll see that I can just pretty much turn just like this. And I can spin around really tight. I cannot do that, however, with um, a mobility scooter. When I turn this on, in order for me to turn around, I'm going to have to go all the way around and back up. You can see how much, how tight the turning radius is. And that's the anti-tippers rolling on the back there. But again, that's what we try to do here at All Star Medical. We try to show you the features and benefits of all the different scooters and, and how they work and how they'll help you. Uh, one of the uh, features I always like showing is we have one that is a Jazzy Air. And to give you an idea of how the Jazzy Air works, one second as I put this on. This actually has a lift on the chair. This comes in real handy for people that, um, say, say you're trying to reach a kitchen uh, countertop or you're trying to cook and see what you're able to cook. This gives you a visual. Insurance doesn't cover that. I have in the criteria here, a seat elevator is non-covered option for a, on a power wheelchair. So it's not covered. But it's a feature you can get, but usually it's out of pocket expense, um, and it's very handy. Um, so th again, these are little things to look at. Um, this is typically what you'll see through insurance is a power wheelchair similar to this. It's covered, and it's a great unit, but you really can't break this down. I mean, you can take it apart, but it's twice as heavy as the, the Go Chair here or, or the Light Rider Envy. It's a lot heavier and it's just not really portable. So you typically do need a vehicle lift on something like this if you were to travel with it or do anything of that nature. But again, what we're trying to do here is just show you the guidelines and help you understand what you need to do. That prescription is just a starting point. Um, you're gonna have to talk to your doctor and there's no forms to fill out. There's gonna be documentation that they're gonna have to show in their notes a history of this issue. If they can't show why Walker, why Kane, why manual wheelchair will not work for you, you're not going to meet the medical justification in order to get one. And if you still need one, that's where we come in. We can help you. We have financing options. You know, there's lots of things that we can do um, that other companies don't do. I mean, we, we do anything from care credit, get financing, PayPal credit, um, and we give you options. You know, you, you walk in here and you see the selection that we have. Um, all of them have a few different features and benefits, um, whether it be the way they fold up, whether it's the seat elevator, whether it's something you want to do a little bit more outdoors, bigger battery life, um, you know, all sorts of things factor into what, you know, our consumers want. And that's what we try to show you here. You will not find anywhere like this, hardly in the country, much less 
you know, around Tennessee. Um, we literally have every kind of option you can imagine to, to go try all these things out and, and find out what works best for you. Um, so if you ever have questions, you can always reach out to us at 615-730-9438. Uh, that's our location here in Hermitage. We have um, a website, which is allstarmedicalllc.com. And you can go on there. We've got pretty much every scooter that's here we have on um, our website. You can see the specifications, uh, whether it's a certain weight capacity, certain battery life, whatever it may be. You can even order them online. We, you know, we drop ship them right to your home. We even have white glove delivery service that they'll bring it in your home, break it down, or you can just come in store. You say, hey, do you have this chair? We have it here for you. You come in and pick it up. So we've got a lot of different options, and especially if you're local. Uh, you will not find anything like this in Tennessee uh, that has the options and the, the selection that we do. Um, our staff is very knowledgeable, very helpful, and we're going to go through the process and, and figure out what works best for you. If for some reason um, you do meet these guidelines, we will by all means say, hey, here's how you need to go to. We'll get you in touch with a Medicare provider or whatever that insurance is. Say, hey, reach out to these people and, and, and go down that process. So a lot of things we can help you with. Again, always feel free to reach out to us. We appreciate you uh, sharing this video if you can. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is Kevin with All Star Medical. You can give us a call at 615-730-9438.